Yeah, it's Nana. Johnny Jesse. Uh-huh. I'm about to get on y'all niggas' asses. They not suck me on a ranting again. It's 4.22 in the morning. Uh-huh. Hello? Man, y'all niggas crazy. Y'all niggas crazy. I made a video the one day um about the liberty of Rasta. Hmm? So I'll be a hypocrite to see this and don't say anything. I'm going to get on y'all motherfucking so ones who call y'all so-called Israelites. See, because a lot of people scared to come say something to y'all dumbass niggas. Huh? Yeah, I'm black American. I ain't Jamaican. I ain't from the Caribbean. I'm what y'all call black American. So let me ask you, any rosters tried to recruit you? Let me tell you something. Any, any roster that come to somebody and try to recruit them to change their faith or say his majesty is the only way, it's no roster. Hello? His majesty didn't come for people to change their faith and what they believe in. Believe what you want to believe, niggas. Okay? But we have this, this so-called rapper. I wasn't even going to get on this case. This rapper who just been killed or murdered. They done put his picture beside his majesty. Hello? So because the niggas say a couple of good conscious lines in a rap song, that make him now holy. Everybody want to uplift him, huh? We gonna look past the other shit. The women, the showing off with the money in the cars and bullshit. Don't you know crackers, evil wickedness, use these type of niggas to get to you niggas? And they sell out to make money to sell to you niggas? And when they wake up, they get murdered by their own people? So let's get on you fake ass Israelites. You have these niggas talking about their whole theology is based on hate. You still have the teachings of the white man, but you don't put your, yourself in place in the story what they gave you. Hello? You didn't know nothing about no motherfucking Israelites. The first Israelite movement came when a Jewish man came from, from Israel and gave y'all a motherfucking storyline because they needed fighters over there to fight against the Palestine. Let's be real. Talk about that whole movement that went over there and most of them joined the army to fight against somebody. Hello? Let's be real, niggas. Tell the truth. Tell the truth how y'all was divided. That most people that call themselves Israelites now have turned from you because your whole thing was based on hating Africa. Because you didn't want to be seen as an African. Hello? Let's be real. Let's talk about that cult movement in Israelites in Miami that was killing off, um, um, go look it up, niggas. The Israelite moves, movement in Florida. They start killing members. Members tried to get away and realize they were part of a cult. Hello? You stand on the corner or march around in fucking curtains because a passage in the Bible says you got to wear tassels. So you think this shit means literally. So now y'all niggas walk around with curtains on your bike. Talking about you soldiers. No bulletproof. Nothing up here. Nothing in here. But you got curtains on. Hello? Standing on the corner reading verses out of a book that was given to you by the enemy. Shouting at people. Cursing at people. 
If you knew the truth, if you knew the right way, why are you so fucking angry? Hello? Why are you trying to force it down people's throat? Hello? Why your whole Facebook page is based on negative Im images of Africa? That's your way to God? In order for you to feel good about yourself, you got to drag everything else down? You get your message from an enemy. Let's talk about that um, serial killer that came over. Tuck his money just to fly from Israel <laughs> to come here and murder black men. You're talking about who's Hittimites, Sidamites, who these are Canaanites. That nigga, you know, learn some motherfucking words. Now you want to put them on somebody. If you got the motherfucking truth, nigga, why you why you fucking with everybody else? Why you on Facebook page with fake pages based on hate pictures about black people in Africa or Rastafarian? Anytime somebody say something about Ross, they go 10, 20 so-called Israelites come and say something negative. Why? Because you need more recruits, don't it? Huh? Because you want to be accepted. Huh? You don't see that you got some niggas that create stuff so they can have more political power. So they can say, I'm over this group. So let me ask you something. Y'all niggas education is higher than Joseph Ben Yakadin. Y'all niggas education is higher than John Henry Clark. Y'all niggas education. <laughs> Cause that's what you have, education. Your education is higher than the wisdom of Malcolm X. Hello? Y'all education is higher. Than the wisdom of Sheikh Akadia. All right, let me give you one close to home. Y'all niggas' education is higher than the wisdom of Khalid Muhammad. Now, everybody I've called is Narasta. And there are people who I look up to, Pa. Yeah, I'm black American. But I took up my roots, nigga. And I'm grounded. Hello. I don't need to hate nobody to love me. You see all y'all black folks out there why, hating white folks. We are our motherfucking problem. White folks ain't done shit to us that we ain't let them do. We sold our brother. That's why we here. Now you got these same spirits now come around and call themselves motherfucking Israelites. Huh? And want to create a, create a bigger division. Coming in with some negative entity. Because you want to have more than one wife. That's how they got y'all niggas involved. Saying that you can have more than one wife. Look how y'all niggas using your little dick, your little brains to run you. A real man knows that his queen is his backbone. One of the highest topest Israelites in y'all motherfucking movement left. Because he found out that our roots were from Africa. Hello? I'll put the link down in the box under this message. I'll put the link where y'all got together in Florida and saw murdering each other. I'll put that down there too. I'll put how it got started when that Jewish man came and told y'all niggas what to believe. The same people that caused the division and sending propaganda because all they have to do is come give it to one nigga. 
one stupid nigga that has self-hate and y'all gonna run with it. Hello? The game is the same. Y'all niggas the one that's new. You ain't learned shit before or now. You ain't got shit. You're using your mouth to curse your own motherfucking selves. Same thing happened to our um, nation of Islam. See, we get caught up in self and what we want and not what is right. Hello? So that's why the message is not given to just one. Because y'all niggas don't know how to handle and balance it out. Everything is about self. Hello? Y'all say y'all free, but how can you be free when you still hating on people because they don't believe what you believe? What freedom do you have? <clears throat> Hello? You want to be free, and yet you too busy. Your whole aim is hating self. Where is your land? Because you say you are from the Holy Land in Israel. Huh? What is Israel? They just gave it that name almost 50 years ago. Before it was Palestine, it was Kush Land. So even if you say you are from there, niggas, it's Kush Land. So whether you want to call yourself African or not, you one of them niggas that left early. Supposed to go look for land, other planting, so we can have different seasons and have different tastes in the seeds that we are planting there. Yeah. That's how Katumbri is in, in Kushland. That's how collard greens are in America. That's how Kalalu is in Caribbeans. Y'all niggas say you learning something. What you learning? Hello? And because you talking among yourself and want to go against Kushites, huh? Arabics murdered your ass and got rid of you and claimed the land. They worked it out with the Europeans so they can get that. Because of where it sits. It sits right in the middle of everything. So now they want it back. They put the so-called Jews there. But the Jews don't got no power. So what they do, they come get y'all guerrilla motherfuckers. Turn you get your own brothers. Huh? So you look down, now you all over the motherfucking internet. Anytime you see somebody say something, you got something to motherfucking say. Stupid ass Negroes talking about you free. Free of what? You ain't free of nothing. You hate yourself. You more in slavery than anybody else. Niggas. Oh yeah, I'm the right one. Uh-huh. Modern day blood clot slavery. You build your bars all around you. Yeah. Watch how you rise while why you push us down. Dirty blood clad niggas. A high price we are got blood clad here. You have lost your pussy clad self. I'm black American fully. All over the blood clad world. People are talking how we are full. We are here dancing and singing and working for these crackers. Then you come with some negativity. With untruth. You're not even read the Bible right. Where it come from, niggas? It come from the Medunata. In Africa. And you say you're not from there. You say Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. So in order for you to live, there must be death. Look 
got your mindset. You want power over your brother. And yet you blame white people for your problem. You are your blood clot problem. Blood clot idiot. That's why I'm a trap pot. All of you are wrapped up in Babylon chain. Fighting against each other. Uplifting fuckery. Rap music exposing the womb and them womb. We have no respect nowhere over the earth, but everybody is copying. And y'all sit your black ass right here. And in order for you to push your message, you have to push hate and then call on the name of Jesus. You're in slavery. Because they say we were slaves? You think that was all of us, nigga? We were slaves because we did it. We sold out as we doing now. Yeah, nigga. Come back and say something on this video. And see if I can. I've been cast out of my family all my life. I've been picked on in school all my life. None y'all can say to hurt me. Hello? Idiot. I'm a woman. I'm your mother. I'm your grandmother. I'm your auntie. I gave life to you niggas. And you come disrespect. Fire. No, no, on toi. That's African. Words, tone, and power. I send fire. You come to divide our people again. I send blood clad fire!